Hi, I'm Michael Keynes, Chef Patron of Limster Manor and an adoptee. My stories started when I was born in a mother and child's home in Exeter. Um, in those days, unfortunately, uh, being in a mixed race family was uh, not deemed socially acceptable. Uh, and so therefore my mother was told that unless she gave up her child um, and had it adopted that she wouldn't be accepted within the family. So mothers and children's homes were where uh, mothers who were pregnant uh, for whatever reasons went and had their children and then they were looked after until such time that they were adopted. And my mother looked after me for six weeks uh, until they found a suitable family um, and in that time obviously you can only imagine what a mother would have gone through. Um, and then one day she was told to go out and take a walk and she did and she came back and I'd been adopted. But I was adopted nevertheless into a loving family uh, and uh, I was the youngest of six children uh, and I had two brothers and three sisters and you know I grew up in a, in a, in a unit of, uh, of love and uh, acceptance of who I was uh, feeling absolutely no different uh, but I was always very aware of my story growing up. I knew I had a, a sister who had also been fostered and we did try and get her adopted um, but my father obviously was close to her in London so that didn't happen. Uh, and, you know, I grew up knowing that uh, I was given up at six weeks and at the same time it always led me to question, uh, you know, that whole process and what went on. But it didn't affect me, it just gave me a few questions that I needed to answer at some point in my life. I always knew I was adopted, partly because I was a different colour skin, so I knew that my brothers and, and were of natural birth. Some children live a lie, they don't know, they were adopted and they grew up in a family where that whole history of adoption had been, you know, uh, perhaps buried. But for me, I always knew I was adopted and I always knew that my natural parents were, you know, my father was from the West Indies, I thought initially from Jamaica, and my mother was from London. So that was a part of my childhood, it was a part of who I was, and I wasn't denied that story, which I think was important, so I always knew I was different, but there was a reason for that difference, and my brother also, one of my brothers was adopted too, and uh, he didn't deal with it quite so well as I did. I had a, perhaps a capacity to uh, understand and more compassionate about my circumstances than my brother, who seemed quite angry about it. But I dealt with it really well because I felt loved. You know, the unit that is a family is very important. I think you say what you're nurtured and what you're natured in life is, is, is true. You know, I grew up in a family where my father said if I got an education, that I looked after myself in terms of give myself the opportunity to do better than that would be the most important thing in life and uh, what you brought up in terms of culture of a family, the values of your family and the love of the family is more important as well. And I think, you know, as I look back, I didn't want for anything. There were some difficult questions that, 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 that were asked sometimes and I grew up in a, in a, in a predominantly white society, uh, was often the only uh, black child or, or mixed race child in school. Um, but then I don't think that was really a problem. I look back and that's just a reflection of where I grew up. And, but I got no, no problems at all really with my, my story. I, I did want to meet my sister and I felt you know, a yearning to find out more about my background, a sense of um, where I'm from and, and my history. I grew up craving black icons because I was denied a black culture. I often would look to black history or black sport icons or people who were in iconic of their time, people like Martin Luther King or, or be it Jesse Jackson or somebody like uh, Michael Jackson even or, or and I looked to those to give me some identity but I wasn't denied that identity it was just that I lived in a predominantly white society where that culture didn't exist and that contrasts remarkably with my sister's story which I found out later on in life. But despite my story, despite my circumstances, you know, I was brought up in a family where um, the benefits of being adopted were, were, were immense. It had a huge positive impact on my life. And those questions were never denied me in terms of the answers. And I was given enough knowledge later to be able to pursue those questions with the right answers. But I think when I look back at my childhood and the love and the friendship and the a whole community of family, it was a massive, uh, 
you know, uh, positive for me, you know, and, and adoption works in a sense that it, it gives you that social mobility to go from a circumstance where things might be difficult into a family where you can be loved. And the family unit is ultimately the most important way to bring up your children. You have the brothers and sisters or the, the family unit of the love of parent uh, to give you that guidance and the best start in life. And I think in that regard, adoption really does work more than fostering, more than being left in social care, because the unit of a family where the love is without doubt, you know, uh, you know, undiscriminatory, uh, completely total, and the responsibility as a parent to a child and a loved one is, is, is more important and those values come through. And I think when you profile the parents and get the, that absolutely right and the parent understands what they're undertaking in terms of the needs of the child, I think it, it becomes, despite the problems that come with it and some of the issues that we have to deal with in a modern day for adoption, there's one thing for sure, if children are giving a much better platform to grow up and become a part of our society through adoption. The process of adoption is very daunting, especially for parents who have to go through so many checks to make sure that they're suitable and also that they're safe to uh, take children within their environment. But the perseverance of that process is important for the child and the children that you might be adopting, but more important, it also gives uh, the reassurance that we're getting the right children into the right family environment. And I think it's worth persevering because ultimately, Adoption works both ways. It gives you the opportunity to love and care for individuals that are in need and at the same time it gives those children that are in need an opportunity to grow up in a safe and loving environment. My association with Families for Children goes back many years and it started with Adoption Week where I was asked to get involved to highlight the benefits of adopting and being an adoptee. I felt that it was only right and proper that I used my story to help uh, demonstrate successes of adoption and how important it is that we give that opportunity for children and families to enter into the process. But things have changed since my story. Uh, things are much more difficult for, for, for people we are struggling to find families and we've got priority children and sibling groups that desperately need the right families to grow up, as I did, within a loving and caring and safe environment. And I think what we need to do now is focus our attention on highlighting the benefits of adoption and also the, uh, if you like, the challenges that we have. And it's important that we take this opportunity to get a strong message across that the benefits of adoption work both ways and the care and attention that we give as a charity beyond adoption is effectively the success of what we do. More so it's a care, the social care, the social understanding, the opportunity to support families who have got perhaps difficult circumstances uh, to understand that children come perhaps with uh, issues that need to be dealt with through the social care that we are able to give. And I think that's a very, very strong positive for our charity is the after support to ensure that the process is, uh, is, is complete and that the children and the families feel that they're supported throughout. So if you want to find out more about adoption, go to familiesforchildren.org.uk.